Hey, Heather from Hooked on Pickin' here. This is my follow-up video um, to a new liquidation company that I, um, and wholesaler that I have um, started working with, AML Incorporated or palletbid.com. And so I got a, just a, basically a miscellaneous variety box from them of which I unboxed everything and showed you. But I wanna give you the breakdown of how I'm planning on selling it. Now this is me personally, you can do it any way you want, but these are some tips and tricks of what I have kind of learned. So this pile right here, it's got um, a baseboard buddy and um, berry cocktail hydrating oil and an electric uh, blood pressure monitor and an ice pack and some things like these are my gems like awesome which means I can list them on Amazon and they're selling for really good money they have good sales ranks and I'm gonna flip them very quickly because listing on Amazon is the easiest thing this is a $50 bill right here $50 in my pocket which means I make a, a fifth um, oh sorry not 50, sorry, $80. This is going to be $80. So when, when I sell all of these things, I ha have no problem saying I'll make 80 bucks on this. So sorry about the mistake on dollar amount. This right here is considered um, gems as well, but they're smalls, okay? So I'm gonna, not going to make as much money on each one of these items. Each one of these items is going to be probably $3 a piece that I can make, okay? And so I've got some lotion, some off, some... Um, fake eyelashes, some hair color, um, some coloring things. This is uh, detox, bubble wash, lotions, things like that. So these are about three bucks a piece. There's a 13 items here and $3 a piece around about 40 bucks. So I've got 80 and 40, almost a guaranteed 120 that I can sell. These are all listable on Amazon. And for me, I love Amazon because it's a quick, easy flip, okay? Yes, you could take the time to maybe make a, a dollar or two more on eBay, but for me, the time's not worth it. So 120 bucks right there, okay. Let me talk a little bit about this pile, okay? When you see one of these um, ladies, men, any of these kind of really fancy razors, you go to a retail store, they're 15 bucks, okay? Um, the thing that I wanna tell you about this pile here, and I'm talking about this, 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 and this, okay? These, these items are great if I had multiples, okay? Now I can sell them one at a time, but they're just not worth it. By the time I pay Amazon warehouse fees, I'm not gonna make my money back. So you may decide to put these on eBay or a garage sale site or a flea market, things like that. But if I had two of these, and sold these in a two pack, I would definitely make my money back. Um, same thing with like the Neutrogena age fighting. If I had two of them, I would sell them. So I may decide to go to the store, buy another one of these, or order another box from um, palletbid.com so that I have enough so that I can make a two pack out of it and really earn my money back. So potential is there. Now this one right here, this is my mystery lot pile, okay? Um, I looked them up, they have no listing on Amazon, so I can either create a listing. Um, now the Revlon, I would probably stay away from just simply because a lot of times um, I'm not ungated in or Revlon. I'm ungated in health and beauty, but not Revlon. So um, I may stray away from doing that. So I could sell these as lots on um, eBay. So I've got a couple of different makeup items I can just put all together, you know, and v make a variety lot. Um, these I probably won't send into the warehouse simply because it's a fragrance and a lot of times those get restricted as well. But these are ones that I haven't really got a number for. You know, it may be that these socks are worth $15 and I don't know, you know, and it may be that these, these particular flavor of Eos are worth more. And this one I'm curious about, the Star Wars lipstick. It may be worth 20 bucks and I just don't know because there's no listing on Amazon, but I may find out that once I look it up on eBay, it's actually worth something. And then I will come over here. These are my for sure, I'm an Amazon girl. These are my for sure, I cannot list on Amazon for various reasons. There are reasons like no aerosol cans. Um, there are reasons like I'm not ungated in the Maybelline brand. Um, and the uh, same thing here, more Maybelline, uh, Rimmel, I might not be able to sell in. And so, um, and also sometimes uh, some of these types of things are considered hazardous materials. And so they don't like to even keep them in the warehouse. And so these are items that I'm just going to go ahead and slap right on eBay and see if I can get them to move. Um, and so I will be able to make up a little bit of money here. So there's still a lot of kind of question marks in here. You, you heard me say I can make 120 bucks on my for sure's. 
Oh, I spent about one seventy nine on the whole lot, and that can that includes the shipping price. And so there is money to be made here. I think when it's all said and done, and everything from this box sells. I should be able to put in my pocket the money that I spent, the 180 that I spent to purchase the box, and then also 100 bucks probably in my pocket. And so what I'm gonna do in the future when I look up on palletbid.com is I'm gonna look for boxes that have a lot of this kind of stuff and this kind of stuff, because these are my gems and I'm an Amazon girl. Now, if you're an eBay person, this stuff, you could probably make money on all day long. But um, just keep different selling options and different selling platforms in mind. Um, this, this company's been really, really nice and helpful. You could always give them a call and ask them questions. Um, they've got a brick and mortar store down in the Alabama area. And they, um, if you look up the AML Incorporated, they have a lot of subcategories just like Pallet Bid that you can order some things from. This is a smaller box. They also sell pallets and I believe truckloads. Um, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I believe they also sell truckloads. So there are definitely ways that you can lower the amount that you spend so that you can increase your profitability. And I hope this has been a good insight into this new wholesaler company. And um, remember, in the end, Jesus wins.